start? I'm Chad Rosacker. I'm the crew chief of White Knight 2. I'm Chad Chandler, and I'm crew chief of Spaceship 2. <laughs> the Chads. Ah, uh, the Chads. Hey, just go see the Chad, a, a Chad. We have our own vehicles that we are responsible for, but we work together pretty well. <laughs> you know, sometimes there's more than one way to do things. Chad will normally take the right road and I will take the left, but we always end up in the same spot. At the end, once we mate, we're all one team and uh, we coordinate and work together really well during that time. We know what each other needs as far as operations here we, and, and we try to uh, work together to make sure that both ships are ready to go and on flight day and everything's safe. A space wrench is an a &P mechanic kind of the elite as far as being able to do both ground maintenance along with the launch and recovery of the vehicle during flight. So I love to tell people that I'm a spaceship mechanic because people are like, what? <laughs> you know, they're like, what is that? And everyone's first reaction is, oh, I've never met a female aircraft mechanic before. And tell them, well, have you ever met a male aircraft mechanic? And they think about it and, well, I know, I guess I haven't. There is a choreography, if you will, that we've practiced and everybody has their entrances and exits during flight line operations to make sure everybody is safe. The more you standardize, the more you choreograph, the more everybody knows exactly what they're doing, the safer you're going to end up being. We're going through the rehearsal now and then the new thing is we have customers coming out and getting onto the vehicle and getting them integrated into our rehearsal. When we get to Spaceport America, when we are doing commercial operations, it should be a pretty seamless transition from our operations here to our operations there, and hopefully we'll be able to take people to space really often. Everybody in position at the White Knight crew will come in at about 3.30 in the morning. We get together, we do the final pre-flight checks on White Knight. It's a big responsibility for them to have to release the vehicle, so they need to know everything that's happening, which they do. It's the most organized launching of an aircraft I've ever seen. I mean, I've watched Blue Angels, I've watched Thunderbirds, you know, all these other teams, and think that we're doing the exact same thing. Two different aircraft, two different systems of communication. Commercial operations, I, I can't imagine how much more improvement, we improve every time. After the propellant's been loaded and everyone's ready to go, we will tow the aircraft out to its launch spot at the end of the runway. We will be there right up until the point where we pull chocks for the pilots and, and they taxi out and take off. Integrity is number one for us and we've taken the time and effort uh, over the years to develop a team and to, to hire a team that has flawless integrity. Uh, you have to have enough forethought to say, I'm putting my, my friends and co-workers in this aircraft. Yeah, that takes a huge amount of integrity to do it right and people really take pride in their work. Yeah, we put a lot, like a tremendous amount of work into this. Like, we're not kidding when we say blood, sweat, and tears, but on flight days, it makes it all worth it because you're just out there and you have like, you're like a, a parent, like beaming with pride. At the end of the day, everybody in this building, whether it be Virgin Galactic or the spaceship company, um, everybody's working to the same goal, to get these two airplanes and our future aircraft flying, and they get to see our team out there being as professional as we can be, and we owe it to them to be professional.